Alright, so hello and welcome back to another episode of FF6 Blindfolded. So, this time around I can take on the second half of the Cave of the Sealed Gate. One, two, three, four. Alright, four is kind of like, almost like an arc number for this, uh, entire segment here. It pops up like everywhere. I think this place, it might be cursed. Number four, it's all over the place. It's the number of pure evil. Probably still heading down the staircase. Pretty sure I am going to be taking a step right next, but... <clears throat> These enemies are nothing more than a minor annoyance, so... I can't walk too quickly because... I can actually walk straight past the squares with the treasure on them. Which is. Yeah, there we go. Which would really throw me off. One, two, three, four. Another four. Thanks for coming after I finished counting those steps, Mr. Battle. It's always nice when that happens. Alright, so that's the second item. There's four items total down here. Third. Unless you count the treasure chest, in which case there's five. So I can go around the bend there. Run all the way to left to this wall. Or rather, I guess it's less of a wall and more like a void over a lava pit, which I probably don't want to step into either, but... Got my chest. Alright, so I'm at the bottom of the chest. Now I'm at the left side of the chest. Now I'm at the top left corner of the chest. Later, noobs. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. There we go. Got my thing. Back down to the chest. Left side of the chest. And now I can just go down right from here for a while. Alright, I haven't hit any battles yet, so I'm gonna assume that I've made it. Uh, now I go this way for a while, and I'll end up hitting right into that cave area. Which is quite handy. And going up and right actually takes me most of the way through that as well. <laughs> Ironically, you'd think uh, the fact that this part is... Uh, you can't see in this part wouldn't be a big deal, but... Because I, like, remember images of places in my head, it actually does hurt a little. Or at least it hurt a little while I was memorizing it. I'm fine now. Two, three, four. Uh, well, I gotta take one step right anyway. Then I can go on to the next part of it. And four. Okay. Down to this gap to grab the chest. There's a lot of treasure in this place. Most of it's junk. That 2,000 gil would be nice, but I think the chest in that area lies somewhat, so it's probably not that much. Alright, run straight up to hit the thing. Straight to the right. <coughs> Alright. There we go. Triggering that is entirely useless. I just wanted to double check where I was. Let's go around this rock. 
all the way to the right wall. Another four, even though this probably isn't two, three, four. Probably wasn't necessary to go that exact number of steps, but I'm remembering that number already, so I don't need to remember it anymore. I don't need to remember any different numbers if I do it that way. Going down next, I think. Probably doesn't make a difference, but I am. This, this takes me a nice distance. Once I walked, you took the four steps downward to walk past that gap. Uh, this takes me quite a ways over. Probably there by now. And now the important, only important switch nearby, except for the one I guess, is right on that pedestal. So now I walk back down uh, off the pedestal. Things like this area are a lot easier to remember. Now I gotta go another four. One, two, three, four. And now I should be lined up with this door. How convenient. Grabbed that thing. Down left for a bit. Left being the operative next, I guess. Whatever that meant. You guys are about as ineffective as ever. There we go, there's my treasure. Run all the way right. Should hit a little piece of rock that's kind of sticking out there. Chest number three, and chest number four, which is nicely placed right next to it because I don't like walking. One, two, three, four. <coughs> it's like a insert name of dance that has four beats or whatever they're called here, because I don't know much about dancing. Always assuming there is one. For all I know, there isn't. Alright, now for take a step left every time you do something, Bill. S took a step left there. Now I gotta take a step left to hit the switch. This one's actually useful to hit. Back right across this bridge. Flick the switch a bunch because I'm immature. Now I gotta take a step left. All the way up. This bridge is easy to navigate. Just gotta go up and right a whole bunch, and I'll be right near that chest, too. Gotta go up next, for whatever is that. that's worth. Probably nothing. <coughs> Come on, Slowpoke. There we go. Continue on my path to enlightenment. Whoops. I don't go straight left there, I gotta go down and left. Alright, so now this part lines itself all up really nicely. I can just go down right for the next 10 years and go in right next. Yet again, I'm fairly certain it makes no difference wh which one I press next, but. Another battle along this stretch. Actually reasonably quick for this cave. Which usually has almost nothing in it. Unless you're playing Return of the Dark Sorcerer, in which case it's totally crammed. Unless he's changed unless you've changed it in attack. Ah, 
I don't think that constitutes a spoiler exactly. Alright, right and down. Should have probably reached it soon. I do have to go through a doorway. The transitions always take a short amount of time, but and now take a take a step backwards whenever I do an action, Bill. As long as I'm consistently taking uh, steps backwards, or they're not that hard to remember. There are places like uh, Narsh where the, it was really irritating having to remember where I was taking a step backwards. I had to have like a few separate different patterns there to work out when I was supposed to take a step backwards, or two steps backwards, or no steps backwards. It was kind of nasty compared to the Cave of the Sealed Gate where everything just seems to work pretty consistently here. And now we have lots of lightning, and I suppose the lightning's no big deal for me, it's mostly just the thunder. <coughs> Catastrophe! Woot! Now for the easiest fight in the game. I can just continue mashing through it like it's a cutscene or something. All my characters are already on attack, because it's not like there's a boss fight in this area. Alright, totally kicked your butt. Kefka's been defeated, that's it. The game's over. That's the end of the run. I'd like to thank you all for watching. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh my gosh, it's an earthquake! What level is it on the Richter scale? I think it's a pie level earthquake. There's usually like a boss or something before most of these long cutscenes. But. Or. It's in a completely dungeonless segment. More earthquakes. By the rumbling, you know it's at least a six. By the larger rumbling, I mean. Pretty soon the wind is gonna stop blowing and I'll be back in the cave again. Kind of interesting, if you use a walkthrough wall's cheat code to go back into that area, it doesn't play the cutscene again like I thought it would. It actually, uh, you can actually walk around in there. Alright, so. All the way down and this way. Brings me nicely down the staircases since I'm already kind of lined up with it. Oh, going down next. Yet again, I don't think it makes a difference. But it's always good to remember, just in case. Because I don't want to have a disaster at this point, even if it wasn't that hard a segment thus far. Probably reached it by now. One, two... This should be the entrance. So one step up and one step left, and now I'm all lined up to walk straight out the way I came in eight years ago. Now I just hope I don't get... Well, if I get fire casted on me now, it's no biggie, but as long as I don't actively die. There we go. Made it out. One, two, three, 
four. It's the last four in the segment, I promise. All the way to the top of the staircase. <coughs> All the way left across this gigantic balcony here. Don't even have dash to make this a little faster. One, two, I'm at the top of the staircase now. Let's just run all the way right. Doesn't even really matter if I get all the way right. I just have to be somewhat right-ish. Now let's start mashing the A button. Yep, my menu, I'm in the menu. Alright, I'm gonna save state here. Uh, I've noticed emulators have a tendency to crash in this cutscene coming up. So if it does happen, I'll just reload state. No harm done. You know, I'm on the air, so let's take this off. The light, it burns! Burns us. Oh, Setzer. You are now all in one piece, and not standing on the text box like an idiot. Here's where it will crash if it's going to. Nope, I'm fine. Here you go. Oh, the only thing I get to watch is the f airship exploding. <laughs> yes, that's the most I get out of cutscenes in this game. 17 minutes in. Which means this is probably going to be another half hour Brave New World segment. And now we wake up on the top of the airship, since apparently none of the characters had the good sense to get inside the airship when it was exploding. Thankfully no one was injured anyway, because this is Final Fantasy and people don't die in random airship crashes. Alright. Just for the sake of, uh, I don't know, authenticity, I'll close my eyes to this bit and naturally mess it up. Well, that's that segment complete. See you next time.